What's going on guys? So, out in the garage. I'm jamming hard on the C10, getting the floors in. Made a fair bit of progress there. And then, it's actually a long weekend. I get a call from my buddy uh, Brent over at Half Ass, and he recommends, instead of finishing that up, we work on this Model T. So, I lifted it out of the tarp, put it in the back of the truck with the engine cream on myself. That was a nightmare. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna work on this for a little bit. That'll be fun. Take a little break from the C10, because let's face it, I hate that thing right now. And see what we can accomplish on this uh, pile of junk. My standards are low, and I don't have a whole lot planned for the weekend. But hey, maybe we can make something of it. He's confident. Well, we made it to old half-ass customs, so dump the tea out in front of the shop. Get the tractor fired up. It's got a bunch of miscellaneous parts. We're gonna try and uh, scab like a diff, and I don't know what else he's got that was in the scrap pile. Let's see what we can do. So should be good. Well, I don't really know what we're doing, but we got some miscellaneous springs. Got a some sort of junk front end he had. We're gonna pull the uh, rear end out that came with that uh, roadster. See if we can piece this stuff together. So, Brent here thinks this is a car. Bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Dogs. So this is that jacked up frame we got. So we're probably gonna kind of slice and dice, do a few things there, make it fit onto that. This is the axle that came with that Roadster, and the, what, what's this front end we're using? It's from a 58 pickup truck. The price is right, so we're gonna try it out. What's worse will happen? All right. So like eight minutes later, how cool this thing looks. I didn't see it till right now. Old mastermind Brent there, he got it. It's basically a car now. So we're gonna try and, uh, so we're gonna walk around. He's gonna show me some brake parts, miscellaneous stuff like that. He gave me a pretty solid idea for the back to frame suspension we're gonna do. He knows, he knows his stuff. But it looks wicked. So we've plasma cut some plates. Now we're gonna cardboard template a bat wing. Cardboard cat. Cardboard cat a bat wing. I don't know what any of that means, but I'm very trusting. So we're gonna kind of eyeball it, and uh, you guys will know what we're doing when I do. At the same time, that'll be fun. Really loose 
spicy juice here right now. And these are they're the same side to side, eh? They will be, yeah. Oh, I'm starting to get it now. I guess you can buy these, but eh, we have the technology to make it. So essentially the idea is that's going to go there. That'll knock everything over. That's going to go on. Yeah. Spring will mount to there. And then Just like a make, bolt through the side type We're going to make a hairpin, so one's going to mount on top and one's going to mount uh, below. I get it. It'll wrap around the steering. Yeah. Yeah. A piece and of cardboard just, sure made it a lot easier. And then just goober onto there and away you go. Huh. I'd have called it a half mushroom, not a bat wing. <laughs> I think that's the actual name for it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so lots of progress today. I think, anyway. Things all together, so we got a good plan. For the front end, we just got to kind of burn it all together. But tomorrow, I got to pick up a few parts, so I need a spring, and we got to get some motor mounts and a few things. We're going to test fit all that. I got to pick some steel up. We can finish the kick on the back and hopefully get the rear end kind of situated, and probably have this thing uh, a roll or another day or two. So that's the goal. That's it for now. Back at it later. All right, it's holiday Monday, day two of uh, going up to half ass there and. Work on this hot rod. So, let's track down some uh, two by four steel from a buddy of mine, actually on a weekend. So I appreciate that. So we can make the rear kick. Uh, these are the slicks that came with that T. And the tires are junk, but they're actually, they're tubed. So they held some air. So we're gonna see what those things look like. Uh, picked up a spring, hopefully it's the right one. Kind of put the front suspension together, but yeah. So, Hour away, and I should be uh, working on hot rods. I made it. Brent was a hero and ended up welding up these uh, fancy hairpins after I left, so that was good. We got the spring in, that's just some uh, Princess Auto trailer spring with a couple of miscellaneous things. We're gonna kinda, I guess, try and put these bat wings on. Zap everything. Zap it together, just kinda tack weld it together. And then our next concern, I guess, well, his concern, I don't really know what we're doing, is we gotta make sure Whatever we attach that to, we're gonna have to put a motor in there and make sure it's not gonna hit anything. And then if that's good, we can, I guess, burn it together, right? Yeah. Yeah, just that easy. <laughs> So, we ended up cutting out these little brackets, plates on the plasma, burn them in real quick. So the suspension's kind of going to be where it's going to be. Spring is in. Next we're going to make is some sort of bar or whatever it is across here, which will hold the uh, front suspension up. There was just kind of tack all together. We kind of squared it up mostly by eye, but uh, it's, it's looking adjustment. like something. Yeah, it's got adjustments everywhere, so I'm sure it's fine.
So you managed to get the front end all together. And super like half-ass customs, half customs, yeah, all the good stuff. So super simple, everything's just kind of tacked together, but it's sitting on the front suspension such as it is. Uh, we started ripping apart the back. So we kind of got the back section of frame off and got it all prepped. So we're gonna put some two by three in to there, kind of square it up so we can make the kick up and over out of this uh, two by four that I brought. And then we can kind of make the rear end somehow weld it in or, or set up for some suspension. I'm not too sure, but it'll be a roller. Life will be good. Okay, so we got all the junk off the diff because it was just welded in that uh, roaster body. So we essentially got it kind of centered up where we're going to want it. Uh, the inside frame now we extended, it's all happy. And now we've got these pieces, we're just making a few of them. Essentially that's going to kind of sit around like that, which will make your kick, which will kind of follow where my arm is. And we'll just join them between. And once that's there, we can make sure the diff's happy, work on the suspension a little bit, or weld in on what we're gonna do just yet. It could work out uh, surprisingly well. So, this is how this turned out. I'm actually pretty stoked, so it needs lots of cleanup and all that, but we just kind of welded, well I welded two sides. So the structure's all there, the rear uh, frame rails. Probably gonna call it for the day right away here. Just kinda, I don't know, the rear end, just so it's a roller and here, I'll be back later on this week or the weekend. But that's good enough for now. So the thing's kind of sitting about how it's gonna sit, which I think looks great. We're just playing out with some uh, chop height. So I definitely need to do that. Put the front ends all there, stuff like that. I wanna try and put these big tires on. So we're gonna do that and see if we can make it look cool. Clean up, collar for a day. Well, be back in a couple days to, I don't know, do some more junk. Well, I'm back home. I realized I didn't really film uh, an ending to the video while I was at Brent's, but uh, I figured I'd probably get enough footage to put something together anyways. So let me know what you think of this hot rod. What, uh, hey, I'm just kind of winging it, uh, taking a lot of Brent's advice, which I really appreciate. He's a damn fine guy, so uh, go follow him. Put some sort of link if I can, Half-Ass Customs, or in the description, whatever is easier I can figure out. Otherwise, I'm hoping I can go back one more time or twice, maybe once this week and then once on the weekend, we'll make it a roller, uh, just so it's out of his way. And then I gotta get back on this pile of junk because I'm kind of over it now. Uh, probably not much of a chance of me keep it now because I want to work on this old hot rod. So, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. Uh, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, all those good things. Uh, turn the bell on so you get notifications. Uh, make sure you leave a comment, I love those. Uh, live streams. Pretty much every Saturday is what we're trying to do. So maybe we'll get some guests in there if you guys want to see that. I was going to get Brent over, maybe my old man. Get a, uh, someone else's perspective. Let me know what you think. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you're looking forward to C10 stuff.